Here I have some galleon and you know what this means. It means that it's the time for making some hydrogen. The gallium is a metal which will melt on around 30 degrees C. And for this reason, if you hold the gallium in your hand, then you will be able to melt the gallium only with your body temperature. And if you combine the gallium with some another metal, the gallium can weaken the crystal structure of another metal. And for example, if you combine the gallium with some aluminium, then in this case the gallium will weaken or damage the crystal structure of the aluminium. And for this reason the aluminium will get really weak and really brittle. And also, if you add some water to this aluminium gallium alloy, then the alloy will react really really easily with the water. And now let's see what I get out from this experiment. Here I prepared three aluminium gallium alloys to see which one would be better. First one is made from some aluminium piece which have the thickness of one millimeter. The second one is made from some kitchen aluminium foil, like this one. And the third one is made from some aluminium powder. And now let's see how they will perform. So first of all I will start with this, which is made from aluminium piece. Uh, so this aluminium is right now really fragile. And let's see what I will get. So here I have only water. The reaction between the alloy and the water produces some hydrogen, but I think that the reaction already stops. I will repeat one more time with this aluminium piece. So this aluminium piece I leave in gallium for more than 24 hours. Okay, so that's it about this aluminium piece with a thickness of one millimeter. The next one will be the aluminium foil. Okay, this aluminium foil is much better like the aluminium piece which I use over here. And I also can control the production of the hydrogen with the flow of the water. Really nice. 
and for the last one I will use this aluminum powder So, out from this little experiment, I can say that the aluminum foil performed the best. For this reason, I will use this aluminum foil gallium alloy. Now I will put everything together. Here I have a little bit of this aluminium gallium alloy which is made from aluminium foil. And this aluminium alloy I will put into this glass jar. Okay, I think that this will be enough. It's only for demonstrating. Yeah, the voltage is correct, 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 volts is the cell voltage of this hydrogen fuel cell uh, without any load. Let's see how many amps I get. So this cell is actually rated to have 1 amp. Okay, yeah, one amp.
and now you can see everything is running like it should be The cell voltage on the load is 0.7 volts. So the temperature of this aluminium alloy when it's racked that is 64 degrees C on my first experiment when I create some hydrogen for the fuel cell I use some aluminium piece with potassium hydroxide solution and the hydrogen production speed I adjust with the thickness of the aluminium and also with the concentration of the potassium hydroxide solution so more concentrated was the potassium hydroxide solution and thinner was the aluminium faster was the production of the hydrogen and the opposite, thicker was the aluminium piece and lower was the concentration of the potassium hydroxide solution, slower was the production of the hydrogen. And now in this second experiment, I use only water and aluminium gallium alloy. And the hydrogen production speed in this experiment was related to how much and how quick I add the water. <laughs> 